On August 30th of 2007, the World Track and Field Championships took place in Osaka, Japan. In the men's long jump finals, Irving Saladino from Panama looked to continue his unbeaten streak for the entire year, and his pursuit of this World Championship gold medal ended with one of the most dramatic finishes in long jumping history. Throughout his season, he had been completely untouchable, taking the victory in many of the world's biggest long jump competitions, and typically, he won these events by massive margins. Earlier in the season, he had already jumped over 8.5 meters on two separate occasions, and as he continued throughout 2007, he was completely unbeatable. As the World Championship Finals unfolded, Saladino was once again jumping with his typical dominance. In round two, he took the lead with a jump of 8.3 meters, and then in round three, he only increased his lead with a jump of 8.46 meters. Going into the final round, Saladino almost certainly had the gold medal in his pocket. But then, this happened. <laughs> With a leap of 8.47 meters, Andrew Howe from Italy not only broke his national record, but he took the lead from Saladino by just one centimeter. After this leap, he broke into one of the most dramatic celebrations I've ever witnessed in track and field. From slapping his jersey on the ground to screaming directly into the camera, the man was clearly pumped However, the person who celebrated the most was certainly Howe's mother, who could hardly even handle this situation. I mean, she was breaking down. This really was a magnificent jump at the absolute perfect time. In the very last round, he somehow managed to outjump his unbeatable Panama rival. However, during this dramatic celebration, the number one ranked Saladino was still completely composed, and he was looking forward to his final round. Just a few minutes after this 8.4 meter leap, Saladino was back on the runway, and he now had only one jump remaining. Put yourself in this man's shoes. You've been undefeated for the entire season, you're expected to win this competition, and yet, by just one centimeter, you've now found yourself in second place. With all the pressure on you at this very moment, do you think you could pull through and win the gold medal? Well. Here's how Saladino ultimately responded. With one of the most clutch jumps in long jumping history, he fulfilled his gold medal destiny and outjumped his Italian rival by 10 full centimeters. This leap of 8.57 meters was quite the display of handling the pressure and even though he had actually fouled over his previous two jumps, he proved that on this day, there was no one in the entire world that could defeat him. This victory capped off an undefeated 2007 season, and it also was his longest jump for the entire year. After taking this gold medal in 2007, the following year, he went on to win the Olympic gold medal with another amazing leap of 8.34 meters. Saladino is highly regarded as one of the greatest long jumpers of all time. His furthest leap currently stands at 8.73. He was the Olympic champion in 2008. However, this 2007 gold medal moment was easily his career defining jump. Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time.